I guess, how do you connect the, the physical pieces of paper, the blueprints, the plans, the records, to the people themselves and the narratives that they have, their stories? Um, I guess a lot of times when I look at you know architectural drawings, particularly, I try to envision what they were used for, what potential use they were. Uh, I've had students who've come from uh, St. Clair College, and one of their projects is to reimagine a structure into something else, or being used for something else. So they look at the architectural drawings. So they're trying to look at these drawings, and they're maybe built for some, for some other use, and they're trying to imagine what another use could be used for that building. Uh, you know, the, currently 850 Alette right now, it's, you know, it's set, sitting empty, the old central library. What's, you know, what kind of structures could be, uh, activities could be used in that space kind of thing. Um, so I, it's not, uh, it's, I don't know if I spent a lot of time imagining what something was used for to make that kind of connection, because that's really the historian's job to kind of create that narrative. We provide, what we do here is we provide the records, the, the grounding to create that narrative. That's it's not so much my job to create the narrative for them, that's what the researcher does. 